In terms of the issues with ATDs that smart membranes encounters in the industry, there are a number. Uh, and where the plant is operating in a high solids environment or high viscosity application, blockages um, and fouling can occur on these components if you're not careful with the, uh, the selection and the design selection of your accessories. So, for example, uh, this, this whole plate type ATD is notorious under high solids um, conditions to have some fouling and potential partial blockage of some of the smaller holes uh, within processes and I've seen, I've seen ATDs before that are a long way um, blocked with denatured uh, whey proteins uh, etc so very much providing further restriction to the, to the flows within that vessel. Uh, sometimes we see poor cleaning in and around the centre claw of the uh, of the ATD, and this is uh, and you'll just see product build up in and around the or the O ring or the core of the ATD, and this is often often due to poor CIP volume, not only being able to access the core but then get in around and out uh, around the core and exit again. So. The design that we have, be it in polysulfone or, or stainless steel, has a deep scallop down into the ATD that allows maximum CIP flow and velocity in and around that core, up against the seal, and then out again. It's imperative that the, the cleaning in and around that zone is, is um, as complete as it can be. So I just want to show you a little bit closer the importance of design uh, in and around Access of fluid, CRP fluid in particular, to the to the core and the importance of cleaning that area. So, if we were to take a, a standard uh, permeate tube, 1.138 internal diameter UF permeate tube, uh, and insert a, an ATD, a stainless steel ATD. What we're looking for is really good access. Uh, so we've got CRP flow, but coming through through the, the wheel, but we want good access down into this area of the core and then in and around, uh, in and around the core um, to provide access into, in and up against the seal. So if you look closely here, you can see right around every part of that wheel there is a access way for fluid uh, to clean not only in and around the core itself, but right up to the face of the lip seal. And that's not always the case, so it's a key, key hygiene requirement for, for good deep diving um, in terms of the design down to the core and then promoting high liquid flow and velocity in and around that area. So that's something to watch out for on your existing components. Um, and that uh, is fundamental to keeping good quality, not only through the accessories, but just in the plant in general. Sometimes you'll see uh, a lot of the membrane wrap so the outer wrap of a spiral, uh, may be tailed, spiral may not be, the outside wrap uh, can often push uh, over the ATD. Uh, we see that now and again, and, and that can be related to the, the outside diameter design of an, of an ATD being insufficient. Um, it can also be related to you know, high pressure drop, um, etc just an element that has excess tail but if you don't get the ATD matching well with the membrane diameter you can have that, that occurring. Uh, sometimes we see polysulfone which is perfectly fine as an interconnector. We often come across plants that has, have polysulfone on the, the very end element in the series on the vessel so therefore the, the ATD taken to full load force. Uh, under that type of environment Especially with a number of elements in series, uh, polysulfone can be prone to uh, cracking and, and failing when under those high low, low forces. And sometimes we'll see ATDs that we remove, and sometimes in the O-ring, in the O-ring format, uh, where they are misaligned, and we get a lot of scraping, uh, a lot of the ATD uh, against the vessel wall as you're trying to remove it. So poor, poor fit. Um, and poor outside diameter design. So that's a brief overview of ATDs uh, and Enplugs. Uh, smart membrane solutions can advise on all facets of your membrane accessories. So if, if you should uh, have any questions surrounding your plant accessories, 
more components, uh, please feel free to uh, reach out to us and we'll, we'll be more than happy to help.